So uh, this demo is going to be talking about how to do some Edgar Wright style editing, specifically how to edit uh, zoom transitions, zoom cuts, quick cuts, uh, whip pans, stuff like that. So you can see this clip that I already have. Uh, now I'm doing this demo in Premiere. This could be done in a lot of different things because really all you need to do is chop stuff up. So for this one, what I'm looking at is, you know, where this particular clip, where does my camera zoom in? Because that's what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to zoom in and then cut it probably at like it's blurriest spot there. So I'm gonna probably go something like that. Um, and then in this program, C is my blade tool. And I'm also gonna shrink these up, okay? V is my arrow, so I'm gonna hit delete. Um, and I'm really just isolating like a quick portion of this, this clip. So like right before it zooms in, and that's about it. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here just by pinching. Um, and maybe I'll get a little bit more just in case. But I'm going to get my C, my blade, I'm going to cut this thing, get my V, and delete the first chunk. So really, with a quick cut, what you're looking to do is just make really, really fast, um, you know, cuts in in clips. And have, uh, I'm sorry, have the clips be very short, but then also have some kind of transition point. So that one, there was a little zoom in. Uh, let's see what this one has. And I'm going to edit this one up here so you can kind of see another way. This one actually kind of, this was a, just a shot of Netflix. So... I kind of like this one just as is, so I wouldn't even really do much to it. Uh, what I could do is just kind of pick where do I want it to start. So I'm going to say left uh, bracket here, and then I'm going to push this forward, and I'll just have like that fake kind of Netflix zoom be my zoom cut for this particular part. And I'm just going to pull just that video chunk down. So uh, we'll get it right there. All right. So let's see what these two look like so far. All right. And now that might have been a little bit too fast. So I might extend out this one a little bit let's see how that looks maybe that's too quick yeah i would say i might even extend this one a little bit as well so i'm going to pull this over and maybe pull off this first clip just to make it last a little longer and see what that looks like and then that one just it like just jumps right in there you don't even see the point because it just looks like it's spiraling in um but that'll work okay let's see what this clip is um the most awesome dad uh <laughs> the most awesome dad cup there uh so it zooms in right there on it okay so i'm looking for maybe this point again the ending maybe about you know at the a blurry spot but i'm gonna grab maybe a little bit more so i'm gonna pull this back and i'll have it be maybe here and i'm gonna go ahead and take this video clip down all right let's see what that looks like Now I think that <laughs> the Netflix clip looks a little bit too long, so I'm going to pull that back again. I want that to be a little bit shorter. So let's see now. Quick cut, boom, zoom, zoom. All right, and then that that last part there got a little bit weird. I don't know what was going on. So boom, looks like it like backed backed up a little bit. So maybe I'll pull this out and let's see. There we go. And I don't want it to. I'm gonna, did it double up there? I think it doubled. Uh, we'll go here maybe and we'll trim it and we'll see how that looks yeah a little bit of double zoom there at the beginning might have to trim that out of the, that spot but again you can kind of see here like I mean this this sequence of three clips right now is lasting like less than you know two seconds probably right um, let's see actually what is the full time allotment here this one is it's ending it uh, two seconds, you know, just over two seconds. So, and that first clip's pretty long. So, I might even like rearrange some of these just to see what. Uh, oops. Take this one. Hold down Option. Slide it. Oops. Hold down Command. Slide it in. Let's see what that looks like now. So we got a zoom, boom, zoom, boom, zoom, boom, and then you know another thing that I would do at this point is start kind of thinking about. Um, uh, audio you know just quick audio sounds that i would want to use for that spot see there's another one so this one yeah there we go okay so i'll mark this one that's my starting point and then boom that's my ending point and i'm just going to grab the video and bring it down and i'll put that in let's see what that looks like boom 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 okay and you can see the netflix one still to me maybe last a little bit too long so i'll trim that one up this one maybe i extend a little bit we'll see how that looks 
Okay, and that's really just my quick cuts right there, really fast transitions, okay? Now, what, like I said, what's missing here would be the audio, and so at this point, what I'd probably do is look to go get some, you know, snap audio clips, and it doesn't have to be, like, a sound that you're really hearing, you know? Like, it could be, like, glass breaking, it could be, um, you know, explosion or whatever. So the next part of this demo is going to talk about uh, how to do uh, whip transitions or whip pans. Um, so what I've done here, I'll show you the two clips that I have. So this clip right here is just of a like a chalkboard and then the camera moves from right to left. And then I have another clip here, which is synced up here. I'm just gonna, I'll delete it out of here um, out of my timeline. I'm just gonna double click it. So here is the other clip. And what I'm looking for is, so I actually have the thing go from right to left right there. You can see it, okay? So I'm gonna have this one start Actually, I'm going to pick my endpoint because right there, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to mark it. And then I'm going to move over here and I'm going to say, right, where does that start? Maybe probably mid blur is a good spot. Okay. And I'm going to take just my video down here and we're just going to put that right afterwards. And let's watch this part. Okay. So now one thing I'm just noticing there is maybe it wasn't blurry enough. Uh, and that could have been, I shot this on my cell phone. Um, but you probably want to pick your blurriest point. So here where that starts really moving, I think it starts slowing down already. So like that might be a better spot for the, the chalkboard blurriness. That looks pretty good. And I'll move that over. And then here, you know, I want this to be blurred as well. Maybe I'll move that one in, just trim that up a little bit and let's see how that one looks. Boom. Okay. So there we go. Oops. Um, now let's see my whole sequence. So this is with some uh, zoom, transitions and then some whip pans so and again nothing synced up here in terms of uh, movement and it's, it's it needs rendered so i might even go up here render into out which might take a minute um you know just to make sure that i'm seeing it exactly how it should be all right now i'm all good so green boom 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 and it looked like i had one part there i don't know what happened like something got shrunk up and it did not oh there we go so this one something was going on this one shouldn't have been in there uh, what does this one do? I don't know. I think that might have been another transition. Oh yeah, this was moving right to left as well. So, um, so I'm, I'm just going to take that one out. So I'm going to take these two. Whoops. And you do have to be kind of planned about when you're, you know, when you're filming these things because you want to make sure that you're getting what you want. Like if I'm moving right to left. Now I could flip this, but... Or I, you know, if I want to continue to move off of stuff, then I want to maybe like stop. So again, that that actually looks pretty good. I think there's a couple of parts that maybe need a little bit of work. Like the coffee mug part wasn't my favorite in particular. Um, however, I thought the rest of it, especially the transition to the end, looked really good. Um, and again, just trying to find like where's my most blurry spot. You know, for this one, maybe that one stops a little bit. I don't like that. Yeah, I'd trim that out a little bit. Move these all over. I don't know if that's going to make a big difference or not, but we have a little quick cut montage there. Um, and I could do like right there, I, that's only five shots. I'd probably go anywhere between like maybe 10 and 12 shots real fast. So I'm about halfway through it. Okay. Um, but again, this, this concept here of just trimming stuff down, cutting it at like maybe a blurry spot um, and then transitioning, you know, from shot to shot through that, through that uh, mentality is all I'm looking to do. So um, and I could keep adding to this. Um, and again, I want to link in some, some audio there that would be like, you know, maybe, uh, different than what's actually being heard. Uh, but, uh, this could be done in Eddie software.